In this video, we're gonna talk about how to use Zoom apps. Yes, you can use different apps on your Zoom or during your Zoom meetings, kind of like App Store. So let's jump right into this. Before we do that, make sure you subscribe, hit the bell icon, and also like this video. Okay, here you go. So here's a huge announcement just recently from Zoom. There are apps that you can use during your meetings. All these kinds of apps. Miro, this is a collaboration tool, Kahoot, the different like games, NoJoy. Uh, any use case that you can think of during your meeting, you can do collaboration, you can present different things. It's just amazing. It's To me, Zoom is kind of building the way Apple built their app store. I think it's amazing. Uh, here is some more information. If you scroll down and click on explore all apps, it's gonna take it you to a marketplace. So here's the uh, marketplace.zoom.us. That's the all the Zoom apps right here. So if you look here, there are different categories. Uh, if you look at the featured ones, here's Kahoot, Quizzes, uh, Dropbox, Miro, that's a collaboration, uh, Whiteboard tool, so many different things. If you look at productivity, here are all the cool stuff under productivity. Uh, let's see what's under marketing. Here are different tools under marketing, or apps, I should say, under marketing that you can use during your Zoom meeting. So for example, right here. Now, if you wanted to use this, what you would do is, step number one, sign into Zoom, your Zoom account, which I did here, and then you can install it from here, from the marketplace. So you're gonna sign into your Zoom account, then go to marketplace.zoom.us and pick the app that you wanna use during your meeting and then install it. Uh, there's another way you can install from the web or you can also install when you have Zoom running on your computer. So that's what I wanna show you. Let me open Zoom and let's start like a, a meeting and let's say, uh, let me show you how to use this. So I'm gonna sign in, so here you go. It's signed in. Uh, and then there is a new icon here. By the way, if you haven't, some people may not have updated their Zoom uh, app on their Mac or a Zoom tool on their Mac. So you may get a prompt that says update your app. So you can do that, uh, do that as well. And there's a new tab right here that says apps. Uh, and then it shows you my apps is uh, if you have installed any apps. I don't have anything right now. And discover is different apps that you can use. How cool is that? Amazing, right? So now let's go to home and let's start a new meeting. Uh, and I'll, I'll show you how you can use uh, install it during a meeting too. So I'm gonna uh, start a brand new meeting. Uh, let me go and bring the window to you. So here's my Zoom window. <laughs> uh, there you go. So that's me on Zoom call. Uh, and then if you notice right here, there is a app icon also right here. So if I click on this, it's gonna open another kind of like a, a sidebar, which is right here. And you can see my apps, or I can also discover different apps. So here are Asana, if you're a fan of project management, uh, there's just so many uh, apps. And I think, I'm sure it's more are coming soon, right? So how do you install an app and use it? So let me actually go back to Actually, if I click on manage, it's gonna open up the, the web store back again. And now it shows me uh, different apps I have installed uh, or other, or if I have created any apps, that's gonna, ooh, that's a really good one too. So this is kind of like my, my dashboard. Uh, any apps I have on my account, none right now. So let me go back and install an app and show you how this might look like. So I wanna install Pexelt. It's a virtual background. Uh, visit site to install. So I'm gonna click on that. And here is different, uh, make sure you read through this, authorize. And now I wanna open the Zoom again or launch Zoom. And you'll see right here under my apps, now I can see Pexels, right? Uh, and then that's the virtual backgrounds I can use. So if I click on this, now look at this, so I can change my backgrounds easily. This is just amazing. Right. I can also send this to uh, people. Let's say if we have multiple people in the meeting, I can send it to different people. I can also share it uh, via email. Let me go back. Let's go back to the apps. Resize the window. If I go back to the Discover page, here are different apps here as well. Now, if I wanted to install something from here, I can do that as well. 
So let's say I want to install, I'm just trying to pick something, uh, Fellow, which is a collaboration. I have no idea what that is. Uh, Kahoot, that's a really fun one. So if I click here, uh, and then I can read more about this uh, app, or I can click on Add, and it's going to take me back to the web version, right, or the web page. And now I can read through this, and then click on Authorize, and then it will get installed on my Zoom, and then show up during my Zoom meeting. So, so much fun. I think uh, Zoom has just changed the, uh, the landscape. There's going to be so many apps being built or uh, that are going to be built for your marketing, collaboration, uh, meeting notes. I saw Otter, which is a meeting notes. Uh, you can transcribe your meetings. I'm trying to go back to the, uh, the App Store. And again, the, the link to the App Store is marketplace.zoom.us. That's the, the main link that where you want to go to. This is where all the apps are. You can look through different categories and then pick the apps that you want to use. Eventbrite, Slack, you name it. I'm just surprised how many apps they have doing at the launch. A lot. Uh, customer service, there you go. A lot of cool stuff. So this is how you use apps during your Zoom meeting. Brand new feature, uh, a marketplace from Zoom. It's going to make your Zoom meetings amazing. Go have some fun. If you have any questions, let me know. Before you go, subscribe, hit the bell icon, and also like this video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.